now in this video I'm just gonna quickly um, give you a tutorial on how to perform a backtest on a leveraged portfolio or leveraged uh, ETF or stock or mutual fund portfolio in uh, portfolio visualizer okay so uh, the first thing we gotta do here is to you know just go to the portfolio visualizer.com and, and then you know obviously pick the uh, backtest portfolio here okay and then the next is to you know do your uh, typical backtesting parameters here so I guess for this case study I'm gonna pick uh, re annual rebalancing and then let's say reinvest dividend show the display income etc okay and then we're gonna benchmark ourselves against um, SPY we're gonna be uh, playing in the US stock market here okay so, um, so in this case, I will actually use uh, Ray Dalio's uh, portfolio to uh, to uh, for this uh, case study here. So I pick the uh, Ray Dalio's uh, all seasons, and then it will show me the I guess the allocation for that particular portfolio, the all weather portfolio. Okay, and here's the ticker. And so I'll name this as um, 1x portfolio and then I'm gonna create another portfolio which is gonna be 4x portfolio to simulate a uh, four times leverage okay on the Ray Dalio's um, all-weather portfolio the next thing you want to do here is to find an ETF okay to find an ETF that somewhat simulates the um, the 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 borrowing of money okay so you so i made a note here so you might wanna i guess uh pick a pick an etf that have like a, a quote unquote smooth equity curve that's basically like just a higher higher sharp ratio with or maybe not uh, based on this example so just pick a like a like a smooth looking equity curve that can gives you a compound annual growth rate of let's say around one to five percent and in portfolio visualizer the yield and capital appreciation is already baked in in that uh, returns and why do we want to do this again like i said uh, because we would like to short this particular etf to simulate the borrowing of cash and the cost of it so i haven't completed my note here but an example that i'm thinking of here is vsgbx which is a vanguard short-term federal in to be like if you're an American uh, can someone please just explain it to us but this is like one uh, example that you could use to simulate that uh, borrowing cost and the cash okay so this is like one uh, ETF VSGBX to simulate borrowing of money so as you can see here this equity curve is actually a lot smoother so this is like perfect for our simulation of leverage uh, so in this case, uh, it actually gives a 4.63 compound annual growth rate. But what's the average return? Just uh, out of curiosity, it gives us like around more or less um, 4.65. So it's the same thing here. Yeah, more or less. So basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna short this. Okay, we're gonna short this, and we would expect to lose. Um, let's say 4.63% of that um, uh, borrowed money okay again that that is uh, because we want to simulate our our leverage and the borrowing cost okay so if you look at here I included the VSGBX and since we're dealing with uh, 4x leverage so 100% is our cash and the other 300% is the borrowed money so in this case we have to short that here okay and then for this you just have to multiply it by 4 to you know to simulate the 4x leverage so for VTI so 30% allocation in 1x leverage and well times 4 here we get like around 120 and then 40 we got times 4 160 15 times 4 we got 60 uh, 5.7 times 4 we got 30 and so on okay and the main reason is because uh, if you add them all up it has to add up to 100% okay so this is in total well if you calculate the absolute 
uh, number of uh, the borrowed money here if you take the absolute value of this guy and then add it with this the total um, sum here is gonna be 400 percent which is like the uh, the purchasing power we have you know our own money equity and plus it by the debt which is this the rest of the 300 percent so when you run this so here's what it looks like when you run this you get the following and that's how you quickly simulate like a leverage portfolio in portfolio visualizer so I actually included the SPY but let me remove that let's run it again um, well, without the, the without the benchmark okay fix this and there we go so here's the comparison of like the 1x portfolio versus the 4x um, leverage portfolio okay so as you can see here for the you know for the 1x uh, portfolio which is just the normal Redalios uh, all weather portfolio it looks smoother but of course when you deploy leverage here yes yes it would increase the compound annual growth rate but it would also increase the standard deviation so I'm just using this um, uh, Redalio as an example but don't actually go live and then start um, uh, using this portfolio because of this you know I explained it in my other video where you know for this drawdown you in fact in this case you actually suffered 50% that's like that's guaranteed you're gonna get margin call here if you hold the you know leverage portfolio here